Hey, man. Hope everybody uh, can hear me here. Let me know if you can hear me. Type in the chat quick, guys. Let me know if you can hear me. Please type in the chat, guys. Let me know if you can hear me. I can hear you. Cool. Can anybody else hear me? All right. So we'll wait. We'll wait till a couple of more people get on. Okay. So, you know, I've been telling you guys, you know, flipping cars for profit is easy. You can make a lot of money. You know, there's a lot of opportunity in it. You know, it's a great way to stack cash every month, you know, and I've been living, you know, I've been living doing it for the past, you know, 20 years I've been doing it. I've been doing this for 20 years and I've been seeing a lot of changes, you know, just, but I don't know, man, I'm starting to think, I'm starting to just rethink everything I've been saying, you know, um, just, I don't know if it's worth it. You know, I don't know if it's worth putting in the time anymore, like searching for deals and negotiating and, you know, I just, I don't know. April Fools, bitch! <laughs> uh, I wanted to do this on April Fools to you guys, man, but but uh, I was busy. <laughs> anyway, I am selling my cars, man. I'm selling my Miata. I'm selling my Lambo. I'm getting money, man. I'm going to sell everything. I'm selling everything. I'm going to make profits on everything. And I'm going to buy more cars and I'm going to make more money. And it's going to be freaking awesome, man. That's the dealio. That's the dealio for the dealio for show. Yeah, that's how we roll. It's all good, man. There's tons and tons of opportunity here. Tons of money making opportunity here. So here's the deal. I'm writing some calculations now of how much I here, let's do some, let's do some math, guys. Let's do some math. Let's do some quick math, guys. What up? What up? What up? What up? All right. Ninety-seven Miata. All right. How can we set this computer? Can we set this computer up here so you guys can see what the hell is going on? Let's see. Let's see if we can. Hold on, guys. Let's. I want to make sure we can see the board here. Okay, ninety-seven Miata. All right. I bought it maybe like a year, not two years ago, about two years ago now. Oh my god! So I paid four thousand for the car. Original condition, original owner. All I did was. Put about eight hundred dollars in for my rims and tires. Uh, the body kit was four hundred. And I initially, guys, I didn't buy this car to flip. I was actually thinking of keeping it because. Like I said, I grew up with Miatas and yada yada yada. I wanted a I wanted a original first gen Miata all pimped out, which already it is. It looks freaking fabulous. 
but I hardly drive it. I'm just putting more money into it. I'm like, screw it. Let me freaking get rid of it. Make some room in my garage. I'm going to get rid of the Lambo this summer. Um, the little mini truck I'm going to keep, but I'm going to get rid of those two cars for now. And I'm going to go out and hunt for some BMWs. Like I like BMWs. I want to get an M3 or some kind of BMW. So that's what I'm doing. So I got that in it. Uh, the Now I did a custom auto body and paint job to it. So this is where if you knew how to do auto body and paint, or if you could value add stuff to cars, this is where you can actually make money. Right. So let's just put in the initial cost of what I put into this thing. Now, again, for those of you tuning in, remember that I did not buy this car to flip. So I overpaid for it here. OK, I shouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have put eight hundred dollars in rims in it. I wouldn't have put body kit and custom, you know, maybe a quick paint job, but not custom paint job. If you guys get what I'm saying here. Right. What else did I put? I put a TN suspension. T E I N T N suspension. I think that's that kit was like four to five hundred. So let's just put five hundred and then custom paint. So the paint, obviously, I did all of the all of the uh, the labor work. Guys, we'll get to QA in about a few minutes. I just want to go over this with you quick. Okay, uh, paint was around. Let's just overestimate. I used good clear on it. Three, let's just say 500. Okay, I used original color, so I didn't need a lot of paint because I went with the same color. So let's just add this up 12, 22, $6,200. I'm in the car. Roughly, I'm in the car 6,200 bucks. Okay, that's how much cash I put into this deal. Now, with that being said, hold on, guys. Okay. 97 Miata. This freaking thing sucks. What I say? 6,200. is my total investment okay now when i'm writing the ad i'm going to be competing with a bunch of other miatas but this miata is in tip-top condition you guys seen it custom paint job so when i write the ad i'm actually going to do the ad and i'm going to make a video for you guys so you guys can see how i spike up the value all right, you got to value add these things. So I'm going to spike up the value. So I'm going to say, I'm going to start off 97 Miata. So let's just pretend right the ad, okay? Just quickly. So you know I'm in it 6.2. 6.2K. All If you look online, all Miatas are around 97 in good condition stock, right? They're selling for about $5,000 just for the car that probably needs a paint job, like a good condition 97 Miata with around 100,000 miles. My car has 100,000 miles on it, right? So 5K is the, the car value. And then I'm gonna do the value add, all right? I'm gonna say plus, I'm gonna say I, I paid for a custom paint job, which cost me, let's just, let's not go too overboard. I can, I can go overboard. But let's just say custom paint job, $7,000. I can actually go 10000 easy, right? Because we molded the body kit in. We did, we did two-tone. We did a little touch of metal flake. And there's a, way to, there's a way to say this stuff, okay? So custom paint. Okay. And the thing you got to mention – like original especially when you're dealing with first gen classic cars like this the cars are classic now it's it's 21 years old right 97 2018 you guys getting me so far so 7000 for custom paint original color with a touch of original color with a touch of 
uh, metal flake, right? So there's a way to do the copywriting for the ad. Um, rims and tires. So let's just say 1,000 for rims and then another 500 suspension, right? So let's just do the value add. I did a tune up to it, oil change, all that crap, right? We could mention later. So we got, now we got 12, 13, five. $13,500 value add. So the car is basically, there's that much money, but that doesn't mean I'm going to get that. Nobody's crazy enough to get that. My goal is to basically just get anything over six, six point two, a decent amount of profit. You know, again, I, I did, I paid way too much for the car to flip. It wasn't a flip. It wasn't meant to be a flip. So I have a total value of 13, five, I can start out at a price of 12.5 OBO, must sell. So that's what I'm going to start with for this Miata. 12.5 OBO, must sell, and see what the hell happens. Okay, guys, let me just say. So what I'm going to do is basically start out with an ad, $12,500 OBO, list all of the stuff. You know, all of the value adds, like I said, the custom paint job, because if I were to do that job that I did on that car and charge somebody, I would have charged at least 7,500 bucks, at least. That's how much work and time I put into that thing. You know, just color sanding and buffing the whole thing down. I mean, took days, right? It's a lot of work. I and mean, if you went to a custom body shop to put to do that, what I did, molding the body kit, doing the front, doing the back lip, this is true custom. So it really is worth the $7,500 for that paint job, right? Some, you know, people are going to argue, oh, you know, 75, that's, you did that. I didn't want a $7,500 paint job, but you still have negotiating power because the car looks so freaking awesome, right? You're going to have a video of it. You're going to have nice pictures of it. I have a model coming tomorrow. Actually, we're going to take shoots uh, with the model, the Lamborghini and the other car that I have. We're, we're doing a photo shoot in front of my house here tomorrow. Um, so I'm going to use those photos as well. You, if you can do that, if you can have a hot girl on one of your photos, that is a plus. Um, so, so let's just say I went down to 10 grand and just, if somebody offered me 10 cash, I would still make almost $4,000 in profit just to get rid of the car and say, screw it. Let me move on. I made four grand, right? I, I made a, I got you know, I got my worth out of it because I made a lot of content out of it for my online stuff or YouTube or whatever, right? Because I use that project in my um, automotive channel. So for me, it's a win. You know, if, if I get 10 G's for it, if I won't even get 10 G's for it, 95, maybe I'll let it go. 9,000, maybe I'll let it go. What I'm saying is I will get over 6,200. Um, no problem. I mean, that's, there's no way I'm not I'm gonna lose money on this deal, but I want to make some money from the effort that I put into this thing. I think, at the very least, I'll get ten grand for it. I mean, you got it. I mean, you guys see what the car looks like, but I mean, when when you get high quality photos, and I'm gonna take up um, a video of the ad that I do. I'm gonna take pictures. We're gonna clean it up tomorrow. Actually, tomorrow morning I clean it up. The girl's gonna come. We're gonna do a photo shoot. I'll even share some photos with you guys. I'll do a YouTube post tomorrow. Actually. With the girl we got a nice blonde coming um she's she has daisy dukes cowboy boots she's gonna do a bikini as well so it's gonna be really cool so anyway guys flipping cars is not dead you can make freaking money um somebody's selling a bootleg version i know but their paypal link is shut down um if you want to send me the link you can send it to me but we already uh, shut that down a while ago. That's why I made a video warning people about the bootleg program. Um, literally, I went to go buy it when I found out about it over a year ago, and you literally get nothing for your money. Like there's there's nothing on the other side of the page. You won't even, you don't even get the program. So that's the scam. Uh, that's the even bigger scam, right? So just letting you know, guys. Um, that's why I made a video a while ago, Tony uh, Bandalos F1 2.0, uh, 2.0. Oh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Joseph. Good one, bro. But 
No, but there there was somebody selling a bootleg version. I swear to God, I made a video on it. And this was about a year and a half, two years ago. I had to make a video on it. We had the guy's PayPal account shut down. Um, and I, I went to go, I actually went to go buy it first. This way I was able to create um, a dispute with PayPal saying, hey, this guy is using my uh, copyrighted uh, information, intellectual property. So they shut his PayPal account down. But when I paid for the product, there was nothing on the other side. So let's do some Q&A, guys. Um, how many newbies on here, by the way? If you're if you're brand new watching live, guys, just type in the chat, new, never seen you, Tony, um, blah, whatever you want to say. And uh, hit the like button, guys. If you guys are liking this uh, content so far, hit the like button. Smash the like button, guys. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the beginning of this thing. I actually, I was having a hard time keeping a straight, sad face. Uh, I had a, I had a hard time keeping a straight, sad. I I, sh I failed. I could have done it a lot better, but I did. I I did not do it. Jacob, you got to rewind and you got to watch. I'm new, but been email subscriber for a long time. I've watched Rick Dyer saying you're gonna be in deep shit and all. It's not going to happen. One guy knew floated titles for five months straight and nothing's going to happen. New, um, I need to meet you in person. New and liked. New, awesome, guys. So for all you newbies, I just want to give you a website where you can download a free guide um, to the report. And I'm almost done with the new version, guys. I'm almost done with the new version of the R Flippers guide, and I think you're gonna like it. Um, so just put the title in my name. Listen, if you if you guys can, and I'm not a attorney, all right. I'm just a regular dude here, um, just sharing some information, all right. So don't take my info, even in the program, you know, that my F1 program that many people have gone through. And created amazing results and made thousands of dollars upon thousands and some tens of thousands of dollars, right? I will say, yeah, if you have to put them in your name, put them in your name, get them registered, do it legally. Some states say you can only do five. Some are eight, okay? Some states you get the title the same day. Hawaii, California, same day you can get the title. Some states like New York and Texas, you got to wait. 10 days to two weeks just to get the title once you get it registered, right? Um, and while you're doing that, I mean, it's a good idea to sit on two cars. This way, while, while you're waiting for that title, go out and find another deal. Go out and find another deal. Then when the title comes, you could flip the first one and then do the other one. I mean, basically have a rotation. Um, again, like I, I reveal some, some real deep down insider secrets and strategies in F1. I'm sure some of you, how many F1 VIP guys in here? Let me ask you a question. And I show you guys, you guys know that I show you guys how to double and triple and sell a lot more legally. Have you heard of, no, nah, I think I might've, I think I might've. Let's see if I, if I, no, I haven't, I don't know. The, that name that you just gave me, I'm looking it up. It looks like a, a dude who's into uh, Bigfoot. So I don't know, guys, guys. Don't pay attention to all these, all this crap out there, man. Just do what you got to do. Make some money, invest it, provide for your family, and just hustle, man. I mean, guys, the world is built on the buying and selling of merchandise and the buying of selling and of everything. The world is built upon selling, guys. So whether you like it or not, you're going to have to go out there and sell something. You know, you sold your wife, you sold your spouse on believing in you and marrying you or going out with you. You sold your mother when you were a little baby crying for milk to give you some food, 
right? So you need to look at, you need to just up your game and with selling cars for profit and just know how to sell, know how to negotiate. That's the real main thing. That, that's the real thing. You got to learn how to negotiate, how to get deals, how to flip deals. And it's easy. So here is the guide for the newbies once more. So let me tell you this story. Uh, we got a recent VIP. He joined the last month. His name is Fernando. Um, he emailed me this morning. He said, Tony, um, I wonder if I could dig up the email. Let me see if I could read it. Okay, Tony, I got your course. Hold on. Tony, I got your course. March 15th, by March 21st, I flipped my first car and made $1,200 in profit. The information that you reveal in your F1 course is unbelievable. I can't believe you're sharing this kind of information. Thank you so much. You changed my life, Fernando. I don't want to mention his last name, but that just goes to tell you guys, and that's just... That's just one of many emails I get. Is it about becoming a dealer or go solo? I would say, Craig, every dealer, every big car salesman, they started solo. So until you know how to flip cars for profit or until you're comfortable and until you actually made some money, guys, go out there and make some money. Do a flip, make a thousand bucks. Do a flip, make 15, make 2,000. If you feel like, wow, this is something I can do, you know, do get five to 10 cars under your belt. If you feel like you want to go ahead with this and go big time, then get a dealer's license. You're going to need a little bit more money. You're going to have to get your license. You're going to need a lot or partner with somebody that has a lot. You know, me, I never really wanted to get my dealer license. I always partnered with people with dealer licenses um, back in Hawaii. Um, so check this out guys. I got like models applying as we speak. Models are sending me images. Yeah. Crypto is, is not doing very well right now. Crypto is, crypto is not doing well. Oh, this is like, uh, well, we got a black girl here. Well, she's like, I don't know if I, I'm looking for a, a black girl. I mean, she's cute and all, but I don't know. I don't know. What do you think, guys? I have a blonde coming tomorrow. Cute looking blonde. I don't know about you know about this one. Oh, we had another one, guys. I'll show you another one. Her name is um where is it? I'll show you another one. Check this one out. This one you're gonna be blown away with this one. Oh, it's, it's in my email. You guys got to see this one. You guys want to see this one? So look at this one. Okay, all you kids here. Kids, do not look, kids. Once you go black, you don't go back. So uh, if you see this one, this one is actually, we're trying to set her up for Thursday uh, to model for the cars as well. I don't know, guys. <laughs> this is trouble. This is trouble right here. Um, so you have to join a dealer to keep selling cars. Well, if you want to do that, guys, I know there's a lot of newbies on here. So what I'm saying is Robert, if you can send me his YouTube channel, send it to me. He's probably, you know, looks like the good time for trouble. Is it a lot of work to make a smart investment? Flipping cars. All right, I'm just, I'm just coming up, guys, and just going over the comments quickly. People hate dealers in Australia. That's why I ask. Yeah, people do hate dealers in Australia. I'm curious. Can you tell us how many income streams? Tell us what all your income streams are. 
Um, I was flipping, but got into crypto. Well, I have crypto, but that's not an income stream right now. It's, it's like keeping steady. Well, I like real estate. Um, I like flipping cars for profit. I like making money with cars. Um, I like online business. Um, and just, you know, those, those three things I got, you know, I do stocks. Um, what else do I do? It's mostly that real estate stocks. Um, crypto, I, 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 I got, a, I got, you know, I, I got heavily invested in crypto last year before the spike. I didn't buy in at those crazy prices. I was lucky. I kind of got in before the spike. Uh, what are the main things? What are the main things to look for in buying a car or to flip? Um, all right, so who does your banking? I don't know. I'm not going to be talking about bank details. It's just not necessary right now. Um, do you consider pass uh, flipping cars? I think I think flipping cars for profit, guys, is a great side income. You could live off it if you, depending on how much you need. I used to live off it for years. I don't live off it now. It's it's an extra source of income for me now, but I used to live off it in my teens. Um, like I said, I started flipping motorcycles and mopeds when I was 14, 13 years old. I was making 1500 bucks a month at 15, flipping scooters and mopeds. That was plenty enough money for me. Now that's not going to do anything for me. I got, I got, I got a family. I got kids. I got all kinds of stuff. Bobby, it sounds like you need a a book and techniques on selling. Why don't you look up? Why don't you buy some books on selling? I, I mean, I have selling information in my F one program. Are you a member of the F one program, Bobby? But there's a lot of books out there. You just got to take action. Selling's really easy. Uh, Raul, I like to use Craigslist, man. That's my number one for local. You know, there's a lot of apps out there, but I, Craigslist has the bulk of people. Like all, everybody knows Craigslist. You know, you can flip around with these other little apps and all that. I don't bother with the little apps. It's just not enough, not enough people. You know, you could probably find the deal or two, but it's, I don't like to waste my time on it. That's. Do you have to join a person with a dealer license to keep selling cars? Um, if you want to go that route, yes. If you want to go that route, um, and actually you could partner. So there, there's dealers out there that'll rent you their dealer license for like 300 bucks a month or 400 bucks a month. Sometimes if you know them as a friend, you can get in, you know, and work at another deal out instead of paying monthly. Um, that's what I used to do, but I don't really do that as much anymore. One today, one yesterday, Bobby. That's not bad, Bobby. I mean, um, it's tough, man. It's tough in a small town like that. You know, you got competitors. I'm not sure what brand of car you sell. What brand is it? You know, you got other brands. It's you basically got to create a lot of rapport with the, with these people rapport, you know, just just be cool with them. You can't be pushy. Um, find out what they want. Keep you know, and then offers your, your deals, whatever you got. That's awesome, Jake Smith. Oh, so you're selling used cars, Bobby. Used, used car lot, you mean? I thought you were working at a dealership. Am I also a mechanic? Yes, I am. I can do, I can do engine swaps. That's, that's as far as my mechanic abilities go. I can do suspension. Guys, I went to automotive school. That was my associate's degree, but I, I actually did not get my associate's degree because I didn't want to take the recommended speech and typing class. But I got all flying colors with the, with the uh, on the mechanic side. I went to automotive tech school. That was my, you know, that was my thing. 
but I never, I just did it because I, I liked working on cars. Like I'm a car guy. So, you know, it's good to know the basics. You don't need to be a full mechanic to successfully flip cars for profit. But if you know the basics, if you could change an oil yourself, I mean, oil changes are cheap. You could easily sub that stuff out, but you could make an extra 50 bucks profit if you do it yourself. You know what I mean? And because it's a plus, it's a benefit. It's a selling benefit when you say new oil change recently done cost you know, 80 bucks, $85 with synthetic oil, but you did it yourself. It only costs you 40, you know, or 30, depending on how much oil you used and everything else. Um, detailing. I used to do all of my own detailing. Um, again, if you have high enough profit margin, you can sub everything out. You know, back in the day when I was doing, when I had my auto body shop, there used to be guys out there who would buy smashed cars from auctions or cars that needed work and they didn't do anything they had no mechanical experience no bodywork experience they would just buy the cars go to cheap body shops like we had a we were in a section with it was like korean body shops all over um was it korean korean body shops filipino body shops and they were really cheap we never really did a lot of cheap jobs. We did a lot of our own and high end. My dad did a lot of classic restoration cars. So we did a lot of classics um, as well as our own flips. So as it being in the business, we did a lot of flips. Like I, I'd be at the auction almost every week buying cars, um, coming back to the, to the shop with three cars, four cars. And um, my dad, I'm just me giving my dad some cars because he didn't have that have the time to go. So there's one time I came home with like three Miatas and he was like, dude, can I have that one? I'm like, all right. So he paid me what I paid for it. And then he did his thing with his guy. And um, we basically had a, a 3000 square foot shop together and we basically split the shop. So I had my customers, he had his customers um, because, you know, I was going to school at that time. So I had a lot of, a lot of my own, um, a lot of my own clientele from just just all the young punk kids all my friends they wanted paint jobs on their cars right um i used to buy um there was this one termite company that went out of business was it terminex green they had green and white trucks not it wasn't terminex it was another brand green and white trucks no orange and white trucks half of the truck was white half of the truck was orange and they had 46 trucks for sale I ended up buying 20 of them on a deal. I didn't pay all for all of them at one shot, but I said, I'll buy all 20, you know, here's five grand, give me three of them for now. And I quickly put quick paint jobs on them because I didn't want to sell them with orange and white on the frick. They were all Nissan hard bodies from 19, you know, I don't know what the year was, 1990. One 1991, 1992 to 1997 in that range, right? So I made a deal. I bought all 20 trucks from them. Um, I was like 22 years old at the time, I think. And I flipped each and every one. I made tens of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars profit. And those freaking trucks sold like, like hotcakes. I, I used to take one and in the auto in automotive school, there used to be like janitors and like the dudes, you know, the dudes like doing their thing. And I used to come in with four sale signs with a, with a truck and these janitors and all these dudes were buying trucks from me left and right. Like, I think I sold like four trucks just at my college. Do I like Chris Fix? I mean, he's all right. He got his info. He put a lot of work in. He made a lot of videos. You know, that's his business model. So that's all good. Yeah, I mean, he's doing good work. I mean, good for him. You know, that's, I do, I do a lot of other things. You know, I'm not like on YouTube like him. I don't, I don't care about, you know, putting in, you know, especially for this channel. I don't put in all that time and energy I could. But I got like other big things I do on the internet besides, you know, YouTube like this, besides my channel here. You know, I got 
other things, <laughs> which make me a lot more money. So his Chris Chris Fix is cool, man. He he puts a lot of work in his videos, man, and he, you know, he does what he does. So it's all good. Um, what else? Please reconnect to chat. Anyway, guys, I got to go, man. Um, thank you for being on. We'll be on next week again, same time, 8 or 9 p.m. Central. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, watch the replay. Flipping Cars for Profit is still live and it's well and it's thriving. You just know, you just have to know where to get the deals, how to get the deals, how to negotiate, how to flip. I really recommend start in your local private party market. Start in your local private party market and get the hang of flipping cars. Get the hang of finding deals and securing a deal because once you get the deal, it's money in the bank, like I always say. Right? You don't have to worry. You're not going to worry about, oh, am I going to sell the car? Or, you know, is it, is it a lemon? You know what I mean? So that's that. Start in your backyard, flip cars, make some money. Actually, make some money first. This is for you newbies out there. And um, see if you like it. Then move on. All right, guys. So it's Tony here. If you want to learn more, click the link below. I got some guides there that'll kind of give you some insider ideas and how the game works and how you could actually, you know, really profit from your first car. So it's Tony, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll talk to you soon. Have a great night. And um, I will see you next week, Tuesday night around this time. All right, guys. Hit the like button before you leave. And I'll talk to you later. It seems like the chat is screwed up for some reason. Like the chat's not working. I can't see anything here. So, uh, so that's it guys. Thank you so much. Peace.